new storm team. 514 here on your Thursday morning. Welcome back. And it's uh, lo looking like the map is a little blue this morning with some freeze warnings. Yeah. Uh, well, luckily it's not for this morning. It is for tomorrow morning. Okay, they've had good. it issued for like 24 hours now. Just prepare everyone, I think. Yeah. Uh, because it is going to be here. We're seeing 20s the next two days. This will be extended most likely into a Friday night into Saturday as well. We just got some cold nights ahead. Okay, bundle up. Yeah, well, we'll start <laughs> this off on our weather alerts map where we see that freeze watch uh, from uh, 10 p.m. tonight up until 10 a.m tomorrow. Uh, some of these counties could get put into that freeze warning category as well. This is going to be extended to the next night uh, too. We just got some cold nights ahead for us. A satellite and radar shows those showers starting to show themselves up to this north uh, portion of the state. We'll continue to see pop up showers in the area throughout much, if not the rest of, of the day. Uh, we'll be just rain, maybe some heavy rain at times, uh, but nothing uh, severe expected with those that will move from the north to the south southeast could stretch into the South Central as well out to the West. You look to stay dry for most of the day. Temperatures right now got us sitting in the 40s across pretty much everywhere. There is a 50 though, 50 in Mobridge uh, right now. We'll continue to warm up. We are below average uh, once again this afternoon, but right now we're actually above average for our temperatures. Wind speeds and directions five to let's go 25 miles per hour, mostly from the Northwest. Again, these winds are going to continue to pick up. And as we look at our wind gusts right now, we can see everywhere seeing some kind of gust 29 in Bismarck, Garrison 33, Minot 33, a little bit heavier right now to the north. This will sort of shift down to the south. Those heavier winds as we get through the rest of the morning into the afternoon. We see that on our wind gust forecast sort of starting up in this north corner moves down to the south and really spreads itself out across all the state. We're looking at 40 to 45 mile per hour winds possible with this and then really just sticks around through the afternoon into the night into tomorrow morning. Heaviest winds probably down to the south, uh, but then by the afternoon Friday it looks to move out. We actually should have a calm Friday afternoon into Friday night and then a calm weekend ahead when it comes to these winds. Highs this afternoon are sitting back in the mid to lower 50s for practically everyone. There will be some 40s to the north and some 60s to the south. But one thing you're going to have to remember, those winds are going to make it feel cooler than what it is outside. It may feel like the 40s, even the 30s in some locations as you get out and about for your afternoon activities. Uh, Precision cast is showing those showers continuing to show up out to the east into the north central. Again, you could see it into the south central. That is a smaller chance down there. But as we get into the night tonight, this is where we see this set, set, uh, second system of the day start to build itself from the north. It will have a wintry mix at times because our temperatures are dropping, but it also could bring some snow into the central portions of the state. Now it is a small chance still for this snow to form and it won't accumulate on the ground. Our grounds are still pretty warm at this point and it's moving pretty quick, so accumulations will be really tough with this system. But you could wake up early tomorrow morning even to watch a good day and see some of that snow falling from the ground. It moves out quickly though. Looks like Friday afternoon should be another dry day there. Your Williston five day forecast got us sitting in the 50s today, 40s tomorrow, 60s for your week. Weekend and on Monday, Dickinson 50s today, 40s tomorrow, 60s for Saturday, those 70s for Sunday, and Monday. But again, that ridge that was bringing in some warmer air Sunday, and Monday sort of flattened, so we could be in the 60s there. We see that on our Minot uh, seven day forecast. Well, showing 50s uh, today, 40s tomorrow, then 60s through the weekend into the start of next week. We'll have to keep an eye on Monday and Tuesday. It could get up to the 70s as well. Just going to be a matter how uh, that ridge forms over the region. Uh, but right now, looking pretty flat. Your Bismarck seven day forecast, 50s today. 40s tomorrow, 60s for the weekend and for next week. Mm, so freeze watch, possibility of a little bit of snow, but uh, then we can look forward to next week. Yeah, we're warmer. looking really dry next mm -hmm. week too. So I think lots of sunshine, maybe a little bit cooler than predicted a couple days ago. We were just that sure. ridge that was building that would have brought us some warm air. Mm -hmm. That sort of flattened out a bit. That would keep us a little bit cooler. Okay, well, at least we're not plummeting. No, yeah, we're at least we're not plummeting. That's <laughs> right. true. Thank you, Stone. And still to come this morning on Good Day Dakota, people in the legislature share their